Hello everyone. I suppose you can call this a part three. Love to love. How do we separate our time as a minister, our ministry, those of us who are called to minister, with time alone, where God is just simply ministering to our hearts? How do we know when to give and be available to all those that God would bring in our path and when to go away and fill up on God. Now one can say, well, clearly, Leora, God has brought you away this week, so isn't that an answer to the question? But, you know, when you're a lover, which is, you know, when your life is bearing fruit, which is what God wants, and the thing is, when it's bearing fruit, it can be very painful because he's pruning us. He needs something to prune. So if we have good fruit, right, he's pruning those branches. And this is how we grow. And we don't grow on the mountaintop. He brings us away on the mountaintop for rest and respite. And how challenging I have seen it to be this week. To, it's taken me six days to decompress. And um, so as a minister, how do we... How do we know how much time to spend on the outside of us ministering to others and then getting alone with God and letting him minister to us? So, you know, I'm just contemplating these things, and I know if I'm contemplating it, I'm not the only one. And um, hallelujah, here comes the sun. This is, this is my song this week, Here Comes the Sun, because it's going in and out, in and out constantly. The skies have been very busy here. 24-7 uh, with the Israeli army planes and the Arab chant and the thunder and it just it's a lot of action going on up there uh, in the surroundings um, in this beautiful beautiful peaceful place and so when you're a lover and a giver I guess well, one way to like anything else if you're unsure is to step out and move out in that direction and if you get a check in your spirit then you stop I love the scripture. I believe it's Colossians, maybe 315. Let the shalom of God be your heart's decision maker. Indeed, and when we begin to step out and we no longer have that peace, we have to stop. I remember a couple few years ago, I was considering a very big thing in my life. And as I began to step out in investigating I totally lost my peace and I knew, okay, not it, not the right timing, not now. And of course that was confirmed by the people involved. So um, sometimes you do just have to step out. Very few things in my life have I been 100% sure about. I'd say maybe three things, you know, that I was 100% sure about, you know, college, Aliyah, Maybe another thing, but um, mostly everything else, we're not 100% sure because we have to live life, because we have to learn how to live a life of faith. And if we were 100% sure about everything, there'd be no, no opportunity to even grow in our faith. We need to learn how to trust God, and life for us as born-again children of God is to deepen our heels in the faith of Messiah Yeshua. And... Um, so I'm going to go rest now, and I just want to encourage you to take time out for yourself in the Lord. Really, really, really important. Let's look to find that sweet spot today. God bless you from the Galilee Mountains in Israel.